Types of structural cracks in reinforced cement concrete beams and their causes. Several types of cracks occur in concrete beams due to shear stress called shear crack, reinforcement corrosion, insufficient rebar cover, bending stress, and compression failure. The occurrence of various crack patterns in the building mostly takes place during construction or after completion. A building component develops cracks whenever the stress in the components exceeds its strength, stress in the building component is caused by externally applied loads. Types of structural cracks in RCC beams and their causes. 1. Flexure cracks in reinforced concrete beams. Flexure cracks on the sides of a beam start at the tension face and will extend, at most, up to the neutral axis. Crack widths will be greatest at the tension face and will reduce with distance from that face. In general, the cracks will be uniformly spaced along the most heavily loaded portion of the beam for example near the midspan in sagging or over the supports in hogging. Important Characteristics Originates in maximum moment region, in the image this region is in the center of the beam, it varies as per support conditions of the beam. May be single or in groups. Maximum width at bottom, top, of beam vertical cracks in beam. Causes or possible reasons. The flexural capacity of the beam is inadequate. When the cross section of the beam or main reinforcement in the beam is insufficient. For example, while it is loaded more than defined loads. 2. Shear cracks in reinforced concrete beams. Shear cracks in reinforced concrete beams occur in the hardened stage and it is usually caused by structural, self-weight, loading or movement. These types of cracks are better illustrated as diagonal tension cracks due to the combined effects of flexural, bending, and shearing action. Important characteristics Originates nearer to supports May be single or in groups Maximum width at neutral axis region or bottom of the beam. Causes or possible reasons. The shear capacity of the beam is inadequate. Cross-section or torsional reinforcement is insufficient. Both here happen due to loading more than the designed load. 3. Torsional cracks in reinforced concrete beams. Usually, beams are subjected to torsion along with bending moment and shear force. Bending moment and shear force occur as loads act normal to the plane of bending. However, loads away from the bending plane will cause torsional movement. Important characteristics Originates nearer to maximum torsion region. Single generally, uniform width, appears over the whole periphery in helical form. Causes or possible reasons. The torsional strength of the beam is inadequate. Cross-section or torsional reinforcement is insufficient. 4. Corrosion cracks in reinforced concrete beams. Corrosion cracks in reinforced concrete beams run along the line of reinforcement. It usually separates the concrete from reinforcing bars, it is mostly manifested by discoloration of paint or stains of rust. Important characteristics Runs along the line of reinforcement. Uniform width in general. Causes or possible reasons The bond between reinforcing bars and concrete is not satisfactory may be due to corrosion of bars, fire damage. 5. Shrinkage cracks in reinforced concrete beams. Shrinkage cracks in reinforced concrete beams occur during two stages, which are the pre-hardening stage and the hardened stage. In the pre-hardening stage, 
These types of cracks are called plastic shrinkage cracks and in the hardened stage they are known as drying shrinkage cracks. Shrinkage cracks occur when fresh concrete is subjected to a very rapid loss of moisture. Important characteristics No regular pattern or thickness and in general superficial. Causes or possible reasons Curing is inadequate or has no control over the water cement ratio. Usage of an excessively rich mix. Shrinkage reinforcement, if any, is insufficient. 6. Sliding cracks in reinforced concrete beams. The diagonal mode of failure by sliding along the critical cracks is known as a failure by sliding and usually appears at the edge of the supports of the beam. These types of concrete cracks appear if the concrete gets disturbed in the fresh state. Important characteristics Runs vertically at the edge of supports. Maximum width at bottom of the beam. Causes or possible reasons Concrete in a beam is disturbed at an early age when adequate strength is not realized may be due to disturbance of formwork at the green stage or early deshuttering. 7. Tension cracks in reinforced concrete beams. Tension cracks in reinforced concrete beams occur usually due to shrinkage or temperature variations. Tension cracks usually appear in those members where restraint is provided in the longitudinal movements. Usually, Tension cracks tend to propagate over the full depth of the cross-section of the beam. Important characteristics Appear over the whole periphery, generally over the whole length of the member. Parallel to each other. Uniformly observed. Causes or possible reasons the capacity of the member in tension is inadequate. Tensile reinforcement is insufficient.